I'm often asked by people here in Thailand, what can Thai people do about U.S. foreign interference? What, what can they do to stop this or to address the groups here in Thailand being funded by the U.S. government? And I often tell them that you should look at other countries who are already dealing with this problem, countries like Russia. And while Russia is a much larger and more powerful country, there's a lot of things that they're doing that Thailand can certainly adopt and use at least certain parts of to deal with the problem here. And now I want to point out this article from RT titled Kremlin Urged to Freeze Payments from Foreign Agents such as U.S. state media outlets over claims they fund info war in Russia. Now there's two parts to this. Number one, Russia has an NGO law that makes foreign funded NGOs register as foreign agents because if you're claiming to be a non-governmental organization but you're funded by a foreign government, then you're not actually really an NGO, are you? You are actually a foreign agent. And so by registering as a foreign agent in Russia, you are forced to disclose your U.S. government funding on, on every web page, on your website, everything you say and do, you have to first tell people who's funding you to say this. Uh, and now the second part of this comes from this proposal, and this comes from a Moscow think tank. That's an, another thing. Russia has think tanks that actually reflect Russia's best interests. I don't know if Thailand has any think tanks like that that are looking into issues like this and, and coming up with solutions to problems like this. But they're now saying that if you are getting money from the U.S., news outlets and campaign groups that get cash from overseas could be prevented from spending money in Russia under proposals put forward by an influential Moscow think tank. Now, if you're registered as a foreign agent under the Russian NGO laws, and now if this proposal moves forward, they're not going to be able to spend that U.S. money in Russia to, to carry on their activities. And just think about it. You're claiming to be a pro-democracy organization. Democracy is a process of self-determination. It's something that the Russian people and the Russian people alone in Russia should be determining. And if you're a pro-democracy organization, but no one in Russia supports what you're doing to the point where you have to depend entirely on the U.S. government for funding, then you're not really involved in democracy at all. You're hiding behind it and you are actually working as a foreign agent. You're, you're carrying out political sedition under the, the smokescreen of defending or promoting democracy. So I think it's a very appropriate law. And as Russian President Vladimir Putin said, nobody's rights are being infringed on here whatsoever. There is nothing that runs counter to international practice. And he's absolutely right. The U.S. has laws on the books to prevent other countries from doing to it what it does to everyone else around the world. So there's uh, a lot of hypocrisy and double standards there. So I thought this was an interesting article to point out. It's an interesting proposal, and it's one of many that countries like Thailand and, and other countries in Southeast Asia can take a look at. You don't have to throw these organizations out of your country. You can allow them to have different ideas. You can allow them to express themselves, but as long as the public is educated on who they are, you know, when the Thai media mentions Pracha Thai or Thai Lawyers for Human Rights or ILAW, they should be required to discuss their foreign funding. There should not be an entire article about one of these organizations where it is never mentioned where they get their money from. That is a disservice to the Thai public who deserves to know that, deserves to know the potential conflicts of interest that exist there. So it's all something to think about uh, to my Patreon patrons who make these videos possible on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you so much for that support. Please like and share the video if you thought it was useful. Think about subscribing. It helps the channel grow, and it's totally free to do. Check the video description for the link to this article, as well as to ways you can help support my work, like by becoming a Patreon member. To everyone helping me in every way, thank you so much. I could not do this without that support. And as always, thank you for watching.